Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is rapid prototyping. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a tool of 3D modeling. It got the following characteristics. It allows to generate multiple alternatives of products before being produced massively. Initially it was only used to make models, but currently it's also used for massive developments due to the evolution of the machines that build it. There are four types of rapid prototype, mainly design, geometric, functionally, and technical. This tool is used in the prototyping and testing stage in a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology or any other agile methodology. Okay, so when we talk about rapid prototyping, we are talking about technology and we are talking about producing prototypes very cheaply compared where what it used to be. Okay, so the kinds of rapid prototyping, they are always testing something. So you can make a prototype that will evaluate the design. It will be focused on visual test. You can make a rapid prototype focused on geometrics. It means that it will be evaluating the construction. We, you can also build a functional prototype it will be evaluating the usability. And you can also make technical aspects. It means it will analyze basically the materials. How do you develop a rapid prototype? So the first thing is here you choose one of these. What, what, what you want to do with your prototype? What do you want to check? Yep. After that, you start by sketching. And that is the beginning of the process. After you sketch, you develop the blueprints. And the blueprints are very important because it has to have the correct measurement, the materials, all the technical aspects. And they have to be digital. Why digital? Because after that, you are going to start 3D modeling. You can use any kind of software for this. Rhino, 3D Max, anything what you feel comfortable because the idea is that when you already have your 3D modeling perfectly model, you can print it. How do you print it? With a 3D printer. And that is very important because there are different kind of printers. They are printers of wax, they are printers of wood, or only any other different materials. It's really up of what you are testing and also the kind of resources that you already have. After that, when you already have your model printed, you have to validate. And there are two possible scenarios with it. How do you validate? You have to make a focus group and take the users and make a protocol. With that protocol, you will find out if the product is perfect, it means that it can go to production. However, if the user said, this is wrong for this and that, you can get back and start sketching again. Because here is very important. And in the evaluation part, when you validate the things that you are doing, you have to be very focused and narrow with the things that you want to create and develop. So that is very important because it will allow you to create and develop something different. So it's very important that you be focused on that. However, in this process, you can see things. One thing is that you have a sketch. One thing is that you already have blueprints, but when you 3D model, you can see aspects that you can, in any of these points, you can change because you find out something that could be wrong with the process. The idea is that this process is very cheap compared where what it used to be. Because before, if you want to prototype a car, you basically have to make a car in the exam, exam same size and materials, and that was very expensive. However, with this technique, you can do anything very cheaply. So that is really up to you. And you can prototype it as many times as you want until get your expectations, so that is very important. The validation part, 
when you are testing is very important because that's when you get the feedback from your users. And if you have to get back to sketching, it's not a problem. Remember that in design thinking, if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. It's part of the process and you can do it again. This is very big when you are making products. As a conclusion, we can say that the rapid prototyping allowed to reduce the production cost of any kind of product. The technological aspect has been evolving significantly in this field. Every time it is more economically and technically easy to generate rapid 3D prototyping. That is very important because when this came out, it was very hard. Nowadays, it has become more easy to do that. The key in the process is to generate proposals that can be built and that are well received by customers. And that is why all the process of design thinking previously to these stages are very important. So when you're going to prototype, you will be very close of what uh, the users will like to have. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Remember that our courses in Udemy are already available. You can check it out. They are in Spanish, but hope soon they will be in English. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish and every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.